G'day guys, um, I'm going to go through like a video of the electronic air suspension in the 2004 Range Rover. I'll make it as quick as possible. The um, EAS unit is located behind, up above this area with the white connector and the black connector. I've got it out of the car, the car was flooded. This car's got uh, numerous problems with the EAS. Anyway, the orange thing I think is the EAS, EAS timer. Um, I've had a scanner on the car on and off um, to get as well that diagnosed that there's a strut leaking. Um, the EAS compressor is located under the spare tire. Uh, this car's a funny one, I mean, it's, um, that's the AS there, there's the AS controller, oh, I've kept it here because, yeah, it's all wet inside, I've dried it out, seems alright, uh, this car's been flooded in a few places, uh, this is the amp for the radio and control unit and it's got all sorts of issues from the water so that's the EAS compressor I've tested it alright that's where the EAS relay, relay goes in there and you can bridge the bottom to the top to com uh, operate the compressor and uh, we've operated the compressor we've resolved the issues to then find a EAS strut leaking so to undo the strut <clears throat> just take these two bolts off and undo the abs and brake line and uh, remove the three nuts from the top drop it down it's quite heavy use a jack and be using a jack to reinstall um, this is the eas distribution valve um, i've undone the hose from there i like to do it that way and take it off don't forget to transfer the gasket if you remember but um i've taken the hose off this unit comes with a new hose uh, and a connector and i just will be transferring it removing the collar seal removing this putting this on um, after the vid and to re-establish the AS, I don't know if I'll make a video, but I'll be reprogramming the <coughs> heights of the car. And, um, yeah, working with it that way. Um, by raising the front of the car on the hoist like this, in the earlier diagnosis, um, I'd have the scanner on it, remove the EAS uh, code, which needs to be done. And then I'd manually activate it and... Um, slowly jack the car up and at one stage or another it'll begin to inflate the bags uh, i doubt i can get away doing this to complete the job but uh it's certainly saved time and um yeah you know, pretty good car these are um but yeah today is about that eas it seems to be the most uh, mystical of subjects on these range rovers um and uh, yeah might make a follow-up video but otherwise uh, that's it I'll be resetting the codes and activating, you know, switching the bellows on by lowering and raising the front of the car on both sides, um, playing with the suspension height there and bridging the compressor. I don't want to. I don't want the car to decide when to bring on the compressor. I want to fill those bags up, get the car off the bump stops, and let it begin measuring something that it knows instead of uh, a complete lowered height. This I find, um, I know there's things online about bridging the ECU and yada yada. Uh, I doubt I'll be needing to do that. If I do, I'll be making a video about bridging the ECU, activating the bellows. Uh, one thing I'd do is I'd, I'd put power on and off here and get it. I think this car will adjust itself once it's reset to the factory defaults and I've somehow gotten the car off the ground. Okay, guys, um, enjoy.